Hey guys, Miss Pat Bride here. And let's get into what we discussed this week in science. So we're still talking about the five regions of Georgia. One, two, three, four, five. And this week we're going to be talking about the coastal plains. Now, there are two coastal plains. There's an upper coastal plain and there's a lower coastal plain. First things first, we're going to talk about the lower coastal plain, okay? Very briefly. I'm just going to put myself right here in the corner. I'm not in trouble. So we have the lower coastal plain. I'm going to read this to you, okay? And it says there are five geographical regions of Georgia. The plants, the animals, and the habitats found in each of those areas are very unique. So you won't find them in other areas of our five regions, okay? It's located near the Atlantic Ocean. The land in this region is very flat because a plain is a flat piece of land. Some of the land is underwater. A coast is land that connects to an ocean. There is a group of islands along the Georgia coast. They are called barrier islands. And barrier islands are very important because they protect the mainland from highways and strong winds. And as we know, southeast Georgia, which is where our low, lower coast plain is, experiences a lot of hurricanes. And that barrier island helps to protect the land from even hurricanes when they come. Now, Georgia coast is not made of entirely beaches. Some of the coast is made of marshes. A marsh is a place where shallow water comes, covers the land, okay? Tall grasses like sawgrass grow here. You'll find uh, marshes in parts of Florida as well. So if you've ever traveled through Florida, swamp area, Everglades, they have a lot of marshes there as well. Um, some parts of the coast are estuaries. An estuary is a place where salt water and fresh water meet, okay? The Savannah, St. Mary's, and Altamaha rivers all flow through the lower coastal plain, okay? So that's three rivers right there that we know of that is in the coastal plains. Sounds like a question. The ocean is not very deep near the Georgia coast, okay? The ocean bottom slants like a swimming pool. This is a continental shelf, okay? Creek Native Americans lived in the lower coastal plains for thousands of years. Tomachichi lived in the lower coastal plain. Mary Musgrove and James Orbethold also lived in this region. The Okefenokee Swamp is located in the southwestern part of the lower coastal plain. Alligators, snakes, and frogs live in the swamp. Pitcher plants also live there. Now, the pitcher plant is really cool because it dissects insects, right? And it does it by drawing them inside a bowl-shaped flower. Then it closes the top of it. Here down in the corner, I'll make it a little smaller, is a picture of Georgia in the, side, in the lower coastal plains, which is right here, okay? That is where the lower coastal plains is. Now, this whole area is the coastal plain, but right here is the lower coastal plain, okay? Now, let's discuss, discuss the upper coastal plain. Now, the upper coastal plain is right here in the yellow and the green. Now, the colors that you see on this map are different elevations, so different heights within a map. So if you see this again somewhere else, those elevations, that's how high or low the land goes. And we have here the coastal plain, okay? We have the fall line, which separates the Piedmont and the coastal plain, okay? Now, the fall line is, instruction, is important for a couple of reasons. One, it, it separates the Piedmont and the coastal plains. But if we look over here at the structure of a fall line, you can actually kind of see how the land drops down into the flat area of the coastal plain and meets it at the ocean. And then we're here up in the Piedmont, and what was a characteristic or trait of the Piedmont, which is where we live, is it has those rolling hills. And if you see here the structure of a fall line, up here are those rolling hills. And then you go higher up into the Blue Ridge Mountains, okay? So let's back up a little bit. Let's talk about it. So the Georgia Upper Coastal Plain is part of the five geographic regions of Georgia. The plants and animals and habitats found there are unique. This is good. This trend is going to continue as we talk about all the different regions. Some of the things we find in the Piedmont, well, we're not going to find in the Blue Ridge. Same thing applies with the coastal plain. The upper coastal plain divides the Piedmont region and the lower upper coastal plains. There is a fall line that divides Georgia. A fall line is where the lay hard and rocky soil of the Piedmont meets the soft sediment of the upper coastal plain. There are many waterfalls and rapids at the fall line. 
This is because of the rapid downward motion running water makes at the fall line. The land in the upper coastal plain is flat. A plain is a, a flat area that is wide. Flowing water from streams turn into wide rivers. The coastal plain is great for farming. Peaches grow here, peanuts grow here, pecans grow here. Livestock also grows very healthy here. Southeastern Georgia has a river that creates a boundary between Georgia and Alabama. It is the Chattahoochee River. Western Georgia, ooh, typo, has the Savannah River as a border between South Carolina and Georgia. So the two rivers, the southeastern Georgia, they have the uh, Chattahoochee River that separates us from Georgia, and it kind of runs like this. And then we have the Savannah River that separates us from South Carolina. And we've already discussed the fall line, and it runs from Augusta all the way through Macon and into Columbus. So next time you're traveling south, and you get to make it. I want you to just look out your window and notice how that landscape comes from those rolling hills down to something flat. Just take a look. You say, oh, mom, guess what? We just passed the fall line and we're in the coastal plain. She'll be like, oh, we got a genius here. So here's some of the things that you can farm in that area. Here's a peach farm or peaches. This pecan trees. I've actually seen this as I've traveled. It's a beautiful thing to see. And we have the peanut farms. So these are the peanuts that have been pulled out because peanuts grow underground. And here are the peanuts that are just not ready yet. And here's the Chattahoochee River. Here it is right here. And you can see how it separates us from Alabama. Very good. And if you have never been to the Chattahoochee River National Park, I advise you to go there. Okay. Very briefly, I would like to show you So in class, I pulled up Google Earth to show you a realistic picture of the lower and upper coastal plains because I think it's important that you guys see it. And I encourage you to open Google Earth on your laptops on a Saturday and just look up some things that you're cool. You can go back and look up the Galapagos Islands and see the speciations. Uh, you can look at some of the other Georgia regions that we we're looking at you can even zoom in on your house and see when Google Earth took that picture and see all the cool things that you could actually learn with Google Earth. It's a great app. I encourage it. I encourage it. Wow. So we're just going to wait a moment while it loads. And we're going to use this all throughout my class because I think it's just super cool. Okay. And we're going to hold. There it is. Being patient works out. So here's our beautiful state of Georgia. Here's our beautiful state of Georgia. And here we are at the Chattahoochee River National Recreation Center in Cobb County. You guys can go up there and visit with your family one day. You can even kayak on the Chattahoochee. Remember kayak from our Inuit people? Yes, they have it there at the Chattahoochee River. You can take it up there. I hope it's still offered. Not sure now. But it was a wonderful experience for myself. And there it is right there, the Chattahoochee River. Beautiful. Now let's just take a second and look at the Savannah River. So here's the Savannah River in the lower coastal plains. And what I want you to notice is this coloration difference right here. So we have the ocean right here all nice and blue and pretty. And then we have kind of a brown and gray area. So remember how we discussed in the lower coastal plains are estuaries. And estuaries do what? Well, they don't do anything. But that is where the salt water and the fresh water meet. So you can actually see it here in the picture. You can see this line here is the estuary. This is where the salt water meets the fresh water okay right here that's your estuary and here's the savannah river and here's the atlantic ocean so this is really really cool you can actually see it from the satellite it's kind of hard to see standing over here can i see the estuary it will probably all look kind of blue ish but that's what an estuary looks like now let's zoom on out 
and head over and talk about our fall line. So here's our fall line. And remember, it runs all the way from Augusta through Macon and Columbus. Now, it continues into Alabama and to North, South Carolina, but we're not talking about those states. We're talking about Georgia. So there it is right there. And you can even start to see some of the difference in the elevations by the colors. You have gray, a more thicker green density here. But as we get here, we're getting into some yellows and browns, which indicates flatter land. And here's a pecan tree farm. This is one of the things that's great to farm in the lower coastal plains. Pecan farm. And now we're going to go to a peach farm. Peach farm. Right smack dab on the farm line. You really can grow peaches all over Georgia, except up in the mountains, quite honestly. There are peach trees in the Piedmont area too, but I think they're more prolific in the coastal plains because it's good for what? Farming, exactly. And now let's take a look at a uh, pecan farm. Uh, oh, peanut farm, I'm sorry. Peanut farm. And here's one very close to the ocean in our lower coastal plains, okay? And that was it for our presentation on the lower end of our coastal plains. Any questions, let me know. Thanks, guys.